Okay, people, sorry about, okay, people, sorry about that, uh, family was in the room, so I had to restart the live stream. But anyway, welcome everybody, one and all, to the PC Linux OS live install. I will get started in just a few minutes, but if you want to see more live streams just like this, then smash that like button for my channel. Thank you. So we'll begin in just a few minutes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me just, um, uh, did I even put, oh, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Derek, how you guys doing? Oh, um, oh, uh, for those that are in the live stream, I'm letting everybody know, um, you're going to notice that my microphone and sound is a bit different. Um, I was watching, um, um, Sleepy Eye Vince's, uh, Pulse Effects video, and that got me thinking, hey, maybe that'll help re reduce some of the background noise that's been happening in my streams. So, for the last few hours, I've been, um, messing around with Pulse Effects, hoping to dwindle down the background noise a little bit, and I've been getting this microphone to as close to my face as possible. It's right up against my cheek. So, I'm hoping that the adjustments I made, people, will produce better audio for you guys. I mean, this is pretty much the best I can do for now. Okay. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Sorry, people, I'm quiet. I had to open up Discord for a minute. I have to let some people know that I'm live. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, I've I've adjusted the gate myself, um, Allie, and that gate is amazing. <laughs> Peter, Mister Mint Spider himself. Hello, how you doing, sir? 
Okay. All right. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's one group that I've informed. Time to inform one other group that I'm live, and then I will be set to um, get this show on the road. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's wonderful, Peter. Wonderful. Okay, and I think in about two minutes, people, we're going to get this show started. Um, this isn't going to be a very long live stream tonight. Um, so I'm hoping that this um, review of PC Linux OS Trinity will go smoothly as possible. We'll just see what happens. <laughs> Take your time, Allie. <sighs> okay. Hold on just a minute, people. Go into there. Go to my channel. And I'll, I'll just put the link address into uh, here. Okay. There we go. All right, that should do it. Okay. Mm. Mm. Well, Min Spider, my uh, uh my um um uh, uh my uh autism um uh life story, which is a story about. Uh, my autistic, uh, my my me growing up with autism. That that is um, already on my channel. I plan to do another autism uh, video sometime down the road uh, for um, autism awareness and all that. So keep a lookout for that. I just don't know when. Okay, I think that I think I've kept you guys in suspense suspense long enough. Um. We're going to get this show on the road. I already have the virtual machine up and running. Uh, VirtualBox finally decided to behave itself and let me do this. So 
what we're going to do is I am going to share my screen and I am going to share the entire screen. So here we go. So basically, um, as you all can see here, this is my Linux Mint XFCE so this is a setup. But here is the virtual machine itself. Um, but what I want to do first is make some tiny, tiny adjustments. We're going to put this thing into scaled mode, then go in. So here we go. That's a little bit better now, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So basically what we got here, folks, is pretty much your basic, basic PC Linux setup. But we're not here to review the live CD. I said we were going to do a live install. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. So as you guys can see here, this is the PC Linux installation wizard. This is what's going to help us install PC, uh, uh, li PC um, Linux OS. So we're going to click next. Okie dokie. So 25. Use free space. Yes. Computing total size. Okay. So we're just going to sit here and wait. Ooh, next format, of course. Okay, there we go. Uh, what's that? A new medium has been detected. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, nothing. Okay, so now as you guys can see, it is installing. So this may take a minute. So while it's installing, I'm going to look at you guys' comments. Okay. Oh, hey, William. Long time no see, buddy. How you doing? Um, this is VirtualBox version 6.12. It just released uh, recently. Okay. Alright. So, what I want to do first, people, just to make sure I can see the comments at all times, I am going to put the comments um, just so I can see you all. So, don't mind me. So, don't mind me doing this. I'm only doing this just to get the comments screen, so... Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, now I can do that. And there we go. Okay. I'm fine. I disappear. Oh, oh, that's okay, William. I mean, if you didn't like me, we I can completely understand. I mean, not everybody uses it. I mean, I mean, yes, yeah, sure, MeWe is good for privacy and security, but the thing is, I mean... Comparing to all the other networks out there, I mean, it's got a bit of a, it's got a bit of a disadvantage. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, and once again, William, that's okay. That's fine. I don't blame you at all. I invested in MeWe at five dollars per month. Worth it or n worth it for no? Yeah. Basically, um, basically, um, for no ads. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, five dollars per month, no advertisements. Perfect. Okay. It seems like the installer wants me to do something else. Okay. Okay, Allie, since this is your OS, um, do I just press next or do I have to do anything over here? What do you want me to do? Oh, 
Oh. Forgot to close that. There we go. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, but it, 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 we're just gonna press finish and be done with it. Uh, bootloader installation in progress. Perfect. Alright. Okay, I don't know what it's doing now. Wait. What's this? Uh, please click finish, restart your computer, and remove the live CD when prompted. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm about to restart this thing and remove the live CD, but before I do, um, I need to know one simple thing. What is, what is the command to, um, oh, no need to remove? Okay. Then I'll just reboot it then. Uh, restart. Okay. Okay, restarting system. Enter. Uh, okay. Uh oh, what happened to the virtual machine? Oh, it looks like VirtualBox had a bit of a hiccup. Don't worry, people. I can fix it. Okay, good, it installed it. Okay, we got it. We got it. What? Uh. <laughs> What is this? Critical error has occurred while running the virtual machine and the machine execution is stopped for... Uh, what in the world happened? Do I press OK? Do I press ignore? Uh, yeah, my virtual box is crashing. <laughs> Uh, what happens if I press ignore? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, isn't that lovely? Lovely day. <laughs> okay, hold on, people. Hold on. Uh, wait, oh, wait, I remember now. I think. Uh, just power the thing off. Okay. I never experienced this before. I installed the OS correctly, but it crashed. What in the... <laughs> Out of all the live installs I've ever done, this has never happened to me. <laughs> Start VM soon as you see Grub press enter. Okay, I see. Okay. Well, that explains a lot. Okay, well, let's try it again, people. Oh, host.c, okay. No. I tried that, it seems it doesn't work. Uh, 
Okay. I wish I didn't have to resort to this, Allie, but it seems... Uh, it seems VirtualBox wants to hiccup. That's what the problem is. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to continue the review in the live CD, since apparently the thing wants to break. <laughs> I have the wrong VM. Is that the problem? I have the wrong VM? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You need Linux other than 60... Uh, <laughs> Oopsie! So... So let me get this straight, um, Allie. If I put this thing to um, Mandrava64, you're saying this will work? Okay. Well, then I guess we're just going to redo it from scratch. Okay, then we're just going to redo it. PC... Linux OS, uh, Mandrava 64, uh, ting right there, just right there, pick thighs, put that there, okay. Now put it here, V bump, there we go. Okay, go and day here. Okay, two cores, turn that on. Go to general, turn that on. Mm. Hold on just a minute, people. I'll be right back. Okay, people, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, family member needed me. Okay, let's try this again and hope and pray we don't have an issue. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 
Yes, 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 yes. Live CD. I just said live CD. Ding dong. There. There we go. Now things should be speeding up. <sighs> uh huh. Yes, English keyboard, definitely. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Next. 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 Cancel. Okay. Oh! Um. Are you talking about the utilities in VirtualBox or the utilities in PC Man OS? I mean, PC Linux OS. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's no problem. If we can still do it after the install, two thumbs up for me. <laughs> and you. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, same here, Peter. I love the weekends. I'm still messing with my elephant. Oh, okay, Ben, no problem. Oh, um, just letting you guys know, um, Tom is, um, live streaming right now as well. So, after, after my live stream is over, how about we go raid his live stream? <laughs> Okay, this thing's almost done, ever so slowly. I will say one thing about this Dell 7010. I know there's four gigs in it, but I know if I could at least get it to um, six, eight gigs of RAM or 16 gigs of RAM, this would be a heck of a lot faster. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
Let's see. Um, now, Rebo. Is this thing going to crash again, or are we actually going to get something done? I don't know. Click. What? Mm. Again? I put it on Mandrava 64. Uh. Wow. Wow. You know, that's a uh, that's a good idea. Oh, <laughs> not even installed on this thing. Okay, what all we got here? Uh, one, one point fifty two gig out of three point seventy three gigabytes. Wow. Uh huh. Yep. Memory usage is exactly the point. Exactly. I mean, right there, people. If you can see my mouse cursor going around this thing, this is the silver bullet here. Uh -huh. No wonder the thing ain't booting. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, new plan here. New plan. What I'm going to do... Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm inside the settings. System... Okay, I'm in system. Acceleration. The last tab. Okay. Uh, is this it? KVM? Okay. Anything else, Allie? Okay, graphics, got it. Uh, display, um, give it a, uh, Here's the thing, Ali. I got the video all the way up to 256 megabytes. Oh, okay. No more than 128. Okay, so we'll put it to 128. There. Enable 3D acceleration. I'll also put it to VBOX VGA. Does that look okay, Ali? No, V, no, no, SVGA. Okay, I'll change that. Okay, I changed the VBOX SVGA. Okay, uh, set it to SMS VGA. Okay.
Um, there is no VMS VGA in... Oh, wait. Right here. There we go. Wait. Okay, so... Okay, network. Okay. The second option. What do you mean the second option, Ben? Oh, go back? Okay. This one? Right here? Okay. <laughs> okay, got it. VMS VGA. Um, video memory. Is that normal, Allie? 128? Got it. I will boot. You are the bomb. <laughs> oh my god. This is going to work. This is going to work. Wait, what the heck is going on? Wait, what? Uh, hmm. Okay. I want to make dead sure we can get in here. Oh, there it goes. Uh, Chicago. Okay, time zone. Uh, da, 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 da. time zone, time zone, time zone, time zone, time zone, time zone. Uh, New York. Okay. UTC or local time. This is the. Oh. The, the one problem I have with virtual box is I don't know how to properly set the clock. That's the big problem. Okay. UT. Okay. That's fine, Allie. Okay. Password. Okay. Uh, we'll just go my that right there. There we go. Oh, oops. Root passive means da, 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 da. okay. Okay, perfect. I'm in. Nice. Okay, now that we're inside the thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is it this thing right here where my mouse is? Oh, the menu. Okay. Ooh, this is a nice menu. Okay, utilities. Oh, hello. What do we got here? Okay. V-Box Test Media. V-Box Guest Kitchens. Oh, no. Okay. V Box Guest Editions, got it. Okay.
Okay. Installing guest additions. The kernel 4.19.96. Okay. Oh, cool. It's an LTS. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> Guest editions installed successfully. Perfect. Okay, I installed the guest editions, Allie. What do I do next? Got it. Okay, click on name. Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. Looky this. Full screen. Nice. Wonderful. Okay. Let me just pull this up here. All right. So am I free to uh, review it now, Allie? Mm. Perfect. Okay, people. As you all can see here, we are inside a, a P, P, PC Linux OS Trinity setup. Okay, what we got here is uh, first, let's look at all this. We got uh, all these little customization options over here. What do you say we go to config desktop first? Uh, what do you say we change the picture a little bit? You know, I live in Florida, so I want I want something with water, so let's just change it to a water setup, shall we? And then what we're going to do is just look for all this and see if anything strikes my fancy. Okay, here's a screensaver. Nice. Display. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, also, um, you also got your um, menu commands right here if you want reboot to the, reboot the computer or whatever. Uh, terminal. Okay. Let's see if it's going to turn on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know how console works. Okay, so right now we are on um, uh, 4.19. Um, but just as I always do on every distro, we're going to do a uname hyphen R. And right there it displays that we are definitely on 4.19. Nice. Uh, and I'm on an Intel um, i5 uh, VMware SVGA2 adaption. Um, we're at the latest version of Bash. So we pretty much got that all figured out. Okay. 
So, um, Allie, um, the, a question I want to ask you is, um, um, since uh, PC man, since um, not P, I get, since PC Linux OS is uh, an RPM based distro, how do I go about installing a package from the terminal? Oh, it has apt. Okay. Cool. Okay. That's cool. Okay, so sudo apt get install. Okay, what? Oh, whoops, I did apt get wrong. Let me go back on that. There we go. Um, uh, say I wanted leaf pad. Let's look up leaf pad. Oh, it's app get install. Okay. So, leave pad. Unable right to find a find. Oh. Okay. Pseudo command not found. Aha. Interesting. Oh, SU. Okay. Oopie. Okay, I am inside here. Let's try this again. apt get install leaf pad. Okay, so now I'm going to see if leaf pad actually um, is here. So... Let's just look here and look leaf. Okay. Utility system. Where is it? Uh, uh, you need to then, uh, you need to, uh, SU first, then install, uh, okay, real, <laughs> utilities editor, okay, utilities editor, oh, hello, there's LeafPad, yay, okay, LeafPad, let's see, this, is cool okay yep my spelling works okay now no we don't need to save it no so now if this is apt get install i can imagine apt auto remove leaf pad Oh, it's app get auto remove because if this thing uses an old system. Oh, is it just op? Uh. Oh, there it is. I figured it out. There we go. And that's how you install uninstall LeapPad. Okay, so that's the terminal in a nutshell. App get remove purge d okay okay this is definitely the same as Ubuntu okay okay let's move okay moving on so right here we got oh synaptic package manager why not perfect okay um for everybody who uses Debian and Abu and Ubuntu based distros this is pretty much um if I'm correct Ali is this pretty much one of the only distros that uh, Synaptic has been ported to, or has Synaptic been ported to other distros? Could you clarify for me for that? Me, could you clarify for that? Me, for my words are so bad. I apologize. 
Could you clarify that for me, please? <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. All right. That's all I needed to know. Okay, so we installed a package from the terminal. Now, for a new user who's trying this for the first time, they'll want to use a software manager. This is pretty much one of the go-tos for software managing. So let's just say I wanted to look up Firefox, for example. So, And there's Firefox right there. Firefox 7, uh, 72 will mark for that installation and, uh, and apply. And there we go. Now it's going to uh, install Firefox, and we don't even have to mess with it. Extra output was generated during packaging. Well, it's only a packet. Da, 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 da. The generate was invalid. Uh, that's okay. That's fine. Firefox should still work regardless. Okay, so now what we're going to do is open our menu, go to Internet, and boom! Firefox! So now, there's Firefox in all its glory. Okay, so, and to make sure that it's the latest version, we'll go to help, about, 72.0.2, latest version, Firefox Quantum. So that's pretty much, folks, how you install a package in a manager like that. But also, there's an, but also, um, yeah, those are the only two ways to solve packages, okay. So, right here is we got some other utilities. There's file, editors, all sorts of goodies here. We also got bleach bit, X term. Right up here, you got your time shift utility. Most of your, um, most of the stuff you guys know. There's HTOP, which I want to go into HTOP. Okay, so we're using. 346 megabytes at a 1.43 gig. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So. Okay. So before I continue, I'll check the comments on that. Okay. All right, continuing. Okay, also there's some games. There's a few card games here, which... I'm not interested in card games that much. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's something you guys want to see. Okay, here's GIMP. Everybody loves GIMP. So, right here we got a really nice version of GIMP. A.K.A. the GNU Image Manipulation Program. So, right here, here's good old GIMP. You can do a lot of things with this little thing. You could paint and do some stuff. I like GIMP. I just don't use it. I just don't use it anymore because uh, I don't prefer intros for my videos. Uh, right here, you got the Brave Web Browser, KTorrent, Conquer, all this little stuff. You even got Pigeon. You also got Thunderbird for if you want to manage your accounts. Multimedia, you got Pulse Audio, KMAX, Cafe. Caffeine Media Player, K3B, Audacity, Armoric, and KSCD. Right here we got uh, LibreOffice Suite, which let's boot LibreOffice. Okay, let's go into the writer document. And here's pretty much what LibreOffice looks like. And to make sure, let's just check it. We're running version 6.3.3.2. Not bad. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Um, let's see. Let's, let's look at the menu here. Let's look at our file manager. I haven't had a good look at it yet. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice little file manager. So this is Conquer. This is a really nice file manager. Really nice. You can do a lot of things with it. 
Uh, let's see. Where is that one thing I always look for in a file manager? Uh, ah, here it is. Show hidden files. So basically what I just did, people, is show hidden files, just like on any other Linux system. It allows you to see the guts of Linux, basically. I like that. And also, um, this this is the Trinity desktop environment running on version um, R14.0.7. And um, this is the latest version of Conquer as well. Okay, let's go back into the comments for a minute. It's not for you. Yeah, six, uh, six four. If you run LibreOffice Manager, okay, okay. Thanks for pointing that out, Ali. I appreciate it. Okay, let's see here, people. Uh, is there anything else I need to look at? Uh, let's look at some settings. Let's look at some settings. We're gonna go into the Trinity the Control Center. Okay, so here's the background theming. You got all sorts of uh, customizations. Like, for example, I can easily put it to default, put it to the current color scheme, which I'll leave it on current. You can adjust your fonts, stylings. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. I don't need to really say much. You can also change your boot screen. So, for example, if you want the classic one, you can go with that. You can go with this one. You can go the Redmond setup. So, if you want to trick people to thinking you're running on a Windows machine, there you go. You can trick them. <laughs> There's also your standard um, Trinity one, the simple one, which the simple one I like. It's a really nice one, so I'll leave it at there. You also got the um, theme manager right here. So if you want a dark theme, you can go with a dark theme. So, and to be honest, I love a good dark theme. Love a good dark theme. Here's a few other themes too. I'm, I mean, you can just do so much with this and get a lot of out of it. So next, let's go to desktop. So here's some behavior. You can here's some behavior options here. Device icons, all sorts of stuff. You got stuff for the deja vu font system. You got panel settings, Windows behavior, taskbar. You also got your internet stuff here. So if you want to set up your internet, feel free to. Um, peripherals, this is for all your joysticks, monitors, and all that stuff. Very nice. Uh, this is just normal stuff. I don't need to go into that. Security and privacy, yes, yes. Uh, since I'm a privacy activist, um, I would love to see privacy settings. Okay. Very simple privacy settings to the point. <laughs> Doesn't need to be simpler than that. Okay, sound and multimedia, CDB, CDDB, you got sound bell options, system administration, you have you can adjust your date and time here. Very nice. You got your font installer here, your login manager, your paths. Here's your Trinity desktop environment components. You can Pretty much um, decide what your defaults are going to be, so on and so forth. So that's all we need to do here. Well, I know you're not, Ben. I mean, there's a whole bunch of people that are um, that are that are not interested in that line of work. It's okay. Okay, so let me check the comments for a minute before I continue with the last bit of the review, and we will wrap things up. Uh, look at the green button even more. Oh, green button? Don't mind if I do. 
Ooh, what do we have here? Okay. Ooh, another control center. Nice. Okay. Install software management. Sharing. Ooh. Network services. Ooh, you can configure DNS, open SSH. That's awesome. Oh, hardware. Beautiful. Okay, let's do uh, sound configuration. Ooh, pulse audio. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Graphical server. Set up a UPS for power monitoring. Okay, here's a whole bunch of network stuff. Host definitions, VPN, nice. Uh, the VPN option's amazing. I mean, so for example, if you guys are uh, use um, a VPN like private internet access, you can configure that right here. That's amazing. Okay, authorization. Beautiful, beautiful. Import Windows documents and settings. Ooh, nice. Now that is amazing. Okay, network sharing. Make manage your disks here. Security. Ooh, set up your own personal firewall. Sign me up. Okay, firewall. Um, this configures a firewall for this machine. Okay. Uh, make sure that you have configured your phone to internet. We've dragged that before going any further. Okay. Okay. What services would you like to allow the internet to connect to? Uh, let's just say, for example, I wanted that and a... Um, and a SSH server. Let's do that. Okay, the following packages need to be installed. Uh, store wall, store wall, IPv6. Okay, no problem. Okay, downloading and installing packages, perfect. Okay, so while that's downloading, back to comments. Okay, let me adjust my screen here so you all can see this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so basically right here, um, that's zero, that's fine, and boom, firewall done. Okay, boot, okay, set a boot system, and that's it. Okay, people, okay, I, well, I see one other thing we can do. Uh, let's adjust the date and the time. So, what do you say we do that? So, okay, let's see here. Uh, date and time, current time, uh, the Northern East. Set date and time automatically? Uh, no, we're not gonna set it automatically. Okay. So, clock time, okay, so, uh, let me think here. Okay, so digital clock, ooh. Apply, okay, okay, ooh, there's a digital clock, that's cool. Okay, America, let's just keep on going. That's what just will do. Okay. Okay, there we go. That looks a little better. Uh, no, there we go. And this is this is the system. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, oops. Okay, people. I accidentally took off the uh, thing there for a minute. Oh, well. That's okay. Uh, let me just uh, go back so I can put my little screen back up because we're pretty much about to call it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, people. Um... Basically, um, we're just about to wrap it up here. Um, I thank you so much for watching. Allie, I will say for my final words before I wrap it up, this is a really good review. Um, you've made a really amazing distro, and I have to say, man, thank you ever so much for doing this. Um, I look forward to testing this thing on bare metal um, whenever, whenever I get the chance to, so... So, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about that. Um, with that being said, um, I think we're going to close this shop uh, a little early. I got, a, uh, I got a, a bit of chores to do before I go to bed. Thank you all so much for watching. It, it warms my heart to know that you all like the content I'm pushing out. And I finally found a way to sort out my audio issues thanks to Sleepy Eyes Vents and P Impulse Effects. So, all of you, thank you so much. I don't think I would have been able to get this far with my YouTube crew without you all. Thank you. But, with that being said, it's time to close shop. I gotta get going. With that being said, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Master 88 saying see you later. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a lovely evening.